Hey guys, what's up? It's Phil, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Super Mario 64 playing on the Nintendo Switch. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get all the stars in Hazy May's Cave, and I promise you're going to laugh so many times with all of my epic failures in this level. But anyways, let's get started right now. Okay, so if you're just now joining us, we just defeated Big Boo's Haunt. We collected all six, or actually all seven power stars from that particular level. And so now we're going to head over to Hazy Maze Cave. And we're going to go in here and we're going to take care of the six normal power stars. We're going to grab the seventh 100 coin power star. And we're also going to be taking a look at grabbing another power up, uh, which is the Metal Cap, to do Metal Cap Mario. Alright, so the first one up is Swimming Beast in the Cavern. Now this one, I absolutely love because it's got a gigantic dinosaur. <laughs> um, I don't remember which door it is, so we're just going to take a stab at it. And we're going to go this way and see what we can find. There's a couple different ways that you can get to it, I just can't remember which, which way is the fastest. Also, watch out for the gigantic boulders that are coming after you while you're making your way up this ramp. Yeah, we'll get that star here in a minute. Alright, so there should be a gigantic dinosaur floating dinosaur thing over here. Yeah, there she is. Precious. Oh, precious. Alright, so this guy is pretty easy to navigate. He, the dinosaur will turn whichever way that you are facing. So if you're facing left, you'll turn left. Facing right, turn right. One cool thing is you can do a butt stomp and climb right up on the head to get a little bit closer to the middle island. And then you can uh, try to navigate this the best. Do a long jump, and there we go. There's our first star. First star of Hazy Maze Cave. Swimming Beast in the Cavern. Alright, let's jump right back into it. Okay, so star number two is Elevate for Red Coins. And what you uh, guys are probably thinking is, you know, we're going to do the eight red coins, but we're also going to do the 100 coins. But, now that I think about it, uh, looking at this map, I'm going to have to go down to the hazy maze part uh, where the gases are, so I, I'm actually going to skip over this really quick, and we're going to go get the power-up for um, the Metal Mario, and that will help us with the next um, couple of stars that we're going to get in this level anyway. So, let me... Let me show you guys how to do that. So we're gonna we're gonna run over here to old Betsy. Ugh. We're gonna run over here to old Betsy again, and we are going to take old Betsy over to. Can't see it just yet. Oh, there it is, right there in the distance. We're gonna head over there. So let me find old. Mrs. Dinosaur over here. <clears throat> okay, turn around. There we go. Perfect. Go over there. Do as I say. Gigantic dinosaur. Turn. There we go. Okay, so behind these doors is the Metal Mario power up. And we're going to have to do a couple things. We're going to have to get the power up, but we're also going to have to get eight red coins while we're here. Welcome to the Metal Cap Switch course. Once you step on the cap switch, the green blocks will become solid. When you turn your body into metal with the metal cap, you can walk underwater. Try it. Okay. You convinced me. So I don't want to walk under the water yet, though. Okay. <laughs> it obviously heard me say something. 
I want to go over here and get these red coins. So there's one, two. Give me that one up. Should be three, four. Let me get this metal cap. Now the metal caps will be everywhere, it said. So let me get the eight red coins that are underneath or kind of around this little uh, area. Six. Seven. Eight. There we go. There's another power star. Boom. I don't remember if this will... Yeah, this will kick me out. Kicks me out and then I'll have to jump back in. But now that we have the metal cap... Okay, so now that we've got the metal cap, we can jump right back into the level. And next star up is the elevate for eight red coins, but we're actually going to go for a hundred like we normally would. And uh, and so I know where the eight red coins are. I actually want to jump down into the uh, the hazy maze cave. Now that I've got metal Mario, I don't have to worry too much about the poisonous gas that's there, and I can really focus on getting the coins from that area without uh, worrying too much. Ooh, about about lost it there. So let's go in this door, drop down. I think I went the wrong way, but it's okay. It was a faster way to get there, I believe. But we'll go this way, and right over here, we'll grab these two spiders that are on the floor. This is where we'll be uh, coming back here in just a second to grab the eight red coins. They're up above us on the uh, the moving platforms that we'll have to jump on. And there's probably some some other coins uh, in that area too, as we as we go up there and, and trying to get the eight red coins. I think we can bust some blocks and hit some uh, other things to get some coins. But we're going to go right over here to the Hazy Maze cave area. And we can drop down and uh, collect a bunch of coins because there's a little switch that we can hit to give us some of the blue coins. You'll see what I'm talking about here in just a second. Let me get situated here. So first of all, let me get a metal cap so I don't lose any health. Yeah, here it is. Here we go. So what we're going to do is, if I can remember which way this goes, I think it goes maybe, I think it's back this way, yeah, here we go. So I think what's going to happen, when I hit this blue, it's going to uh, start some coins going in that direction there, so let me not get hit by anything, I'm looking for a, there we go, I was looking for a metal cap, couldn't find it, so let me grab these coins really quick. And then we will grab a whole bunch of coins just from this thing right here. There we go. Coin there. Nice. There's a bunch right here. Oh, I missed a bunch too. Oh well. So we've gotten, just from that guys, like a ton of coins. We're up to 45. So let's keep going. Now there's three different uh, areas that you can actually go to in the, the gassy area. Uh, that's, I think, that should have some coins at least. Um, I think I'm going to turn around because I believe that is another star that we don't want to get just yet. So we're going to keep going and keep collecting coins. There's definitely a bunch of enemies in this area that we can go after. Cool, didn't lose any health there. I think if you keep jumping, it'll kind of not take any health damage. Come here, dude. I just want your coins. And this camera is so bad right now. Okay, come on. Come get me. Yeah, come get me. Oh, I missed him. Give me that coin. Cool. All right. Some more. I'll grab this stone. Yeah. Having Metal Mario just really helps because you can just walk right into the enemies and it's no big no big deal. Now you can kind of see why I went after Metal Mario to start off with because it just makes it so much easier um, to navigate this cave. It's, it's just, you can get lost really easy, especially if you're not like paying attention. You can get lost so easy. Just keep coming back and keep getting Metal Mario, and it's no big deal. So 
I'm just going around looking for more enemies. I think there's a couple that I've missed so far. And you don't get any coins from the moles, so bypass those. I've already been down here. Let me grab another cap. Looking for this route. See, I think I've been in this room. Let me double check. Yes, this is the one that I first came to, so let's go back. Like I said, there's two or three different uh, areas. I should have shown you the map to begin with. Oh, there he is. That's who I was looking for. So, uh, there's two or three different areas that you can actually um, go in. So let me... And you will lose health so quick. So quick. So I think there's one right here. No? Yeah, there's one right here. But that takes us back. We don't want to go there yet. And I'm looking for... Yeah, there's another cap that I wanted to get. So... I'm having trouble remembering... There it is. I see it now. It's right above us. Let's see if I can backflip. Yeah, there we go. That's the door that I was looking for. And then the third exit is... We've already seen the third exit, so... Let me kill these bats and get their... Their coins. So we're up to 60. So we've got at least 16. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> we've got at least 16 to go with the eight red coins. And there's probably some coins over there in the different blocks and stuff that, that we'll be destroying. So there's one of the stars that we don't want to get just yet. Um, so let's go back down. And we're actually going to go all the way back, if we can find our way back. And go probably over towards old Betsy. Betsy the dinosaur. So we will, I believe, take a left. And not die from the gas. Come on, man. Give me that cap right there. Okay, so we need to find the little exit that has like the three stairs. I think it's right over here. Yeah, here we go. So I believe this will take us back to the eight red coins area. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. So now let's go back all the way almost to the beginning of the map. And let's go see if we can find some coins elsewhere. So I know that we can get at least 16 because 2 times 8 is 16. So we need about, I don't know. 20 more. Be safe. Oh gosh. I've got low health and I'm in the boulder area. There we go. So that was quite a bit. So now we're almost to 70. I know there's a few right here that I can get. So now... Put this one up. I know there's some down here that I can get. I'll go after these. So let me find old Betsy. Betsy the dinosaur. Come here, old Betsy. Okay, so let's hop up on top of the gigantic head. And there's some coins. Whoa, whoa, where are you going, girl? Where are you going? Turn around. Oh, did I get it? Yes. Okay, cool. So now we're up to 83. So, yeah, we're still lacking just a few. So I think we're going to need to go back. Let me, um, I'm going to grab the metal cap right here really quick. And I'm going to show you where there's another star, but I'm not going to get it just yet. But I want to see if there's any coins over here. Oh, you know what? I know where some are. Never mind. I don't even need to do that. I know where some are. 
I forgot about him. It's just one of the... It's just a, another star that we can get a little bit later. That uh, on the way there, you can grab some, some extra coins. <clears throat> so, let's go back. Get my camera angle correct. Oh, this is... This is so bad. I hate this part. Look at that. Oh, no, 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 no. Grab it, grab it, grab it. Jump. Oh, that was so close. Oh, my word. That was almost disaster. We are 83 coins in. Oh, I can't go that way. Shoot. We are 83 coins in and almost lost it. I don't know how many times I've died there today. More times than you guys realize. <laughs> Times that I've cut out of this recording. Alright. I'll tell you what. Let's go ahead and go for the eight red coins. And let's see where we stand at that point. Because I'm thinking we might be able to get some coins just from some of these um, blocks that we'll be busting. So let's see. And I know there's an enemy, actually. As a matter of fact, there's a there's an eyeball that we can knock out. Um, and get at least five. See if I can punch. Oh, nice, nice. Gosh, I don't know if I can get that eyeball or not. It's gonna be tough. Punch it, punch it. Go back. There's another red coin. I usually just do a backflip over this. That one. Oh, there's an eyeball. I don't know if I can. I'm not sure if I can do this or not. Let's try it. I need to try to get the eyeball to look at me. Nope. This is going to be probably too difficult to want to try it. Okay, so go back. Oh, he's going to shoot me. Alright, so let's hop over here. So that's four. Man, I would love to get those coins. I don't want eyeballs, but I just don't. That one I might be able to get, actually. Let's see. Let me try. It's awfully close. Oh, <laughs> Well, you can see how difficult that's going to be, because I'm so close to the edge, I'm not sure that I can actually... Uh, make a full circle around that thing. So let's instead go over here. Oh, go back, dude. Go back. Go back. Go that way. And I'm going to make a long jump. There we go. Now I should be able to, yeah, come up here and ride this little trolley thing get some more coins. I don't remember if there's any any coins up up through here, like extra coins. I know there's the eight red coins, but I'm not sure if there's extra coins up through here or not. Let's see. I'm really hoping for some. Negative, Ghost Rider. <laughs> so, that was five. I think I'm gonna have to jump on this one. Six. Oh, there's a bat. Well, that's good to know. Seven, eight. <clears throat> oh, that bat is mine. I need one coin. Oh, I totally missed the bat. <laughs> At least I know he's up there, though. I need to go get him. Come on. I hope that he's still up there, or that it, he at least respawns. And that was a t terrible jump. Sorry. 
Alright, so we're gonna jump this way. And then we're gonna go that way. And then we're gonna actually do a long jump this time. Oh, yes. Good, 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 good. Okay. If I miss the bat this time, I'm just gonna go back to the other spot that I was thinking about going to. Because this might be more trouble than it's worth. We'll see. I wonder where that bat was at. <clears throat> he must have been behind me. I don't. S oh, I think I just saw him out of the corner of the screen there. Yeah, there he's up there. He's kind of up high a little bit. So let's see if I can get him to. Oh, there's one. Oh, there's a coin. Get it. Where's that? Where's that? Yes! Get it, get it, get it! What are you doing? Thank goodness. Phew! Yes! Alright! This one was a little bit... This one was a little tough. This one was a bit tough. I mean, we had to go to so many different areas. It just kinda was not fun. To say, to say the least, it was not fun. Okay, wow, that took a long time. All right, so let's jump, jump back in. Now, it's gonna be a little bit a little bit easier from here. So Metalhead Mario can move, so that, yeah, that's one of the stars that I was talking about just a second ago. Uh, there's a pathway that we can take over near where uh, Old Betsy's at. So let's go holler at Old Betsy again. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. There's a, there's a cap down at the bottom of the elevator grab it and then you follow a little path through the water and uh, it'll lead you right to a star or at least to a, a little switch where it opens the door and then you get a star <laughs> oh I forgot the cap so the cap's right here, right next to the elevator. And then we run through the path. And I usually do a long jump here just to kind of help speed it up. But Mario's going to always want to sink right straight to the bottom, so... And this camera is so bad today. Here we go. Boom. This one's super fast, super easy. Oh, I just spoke too soon. Are you kidding? Oh, we were so there. I forgot about the two, the, the double long jump, to be honest. I wish there was like a save state button where you could like save your self. Get out of here, spider. You're distracting me. You too. It's probably going to keep launching on me up. Oh, okay. Go, go, go! I got it! Alright. Good job, Phil. Yeah, I had to stop, man. For some reason, I couldn't do the two in a row. I mean, if I'm in an open field, I can do two in a row. But for some reason, I I just couldn't, couldn't do it. I'm not sure if it's my controller or if I'm just a terrible Mario player. <laughs> so, navigating the toxic maze. Alright, so this one, um, we've... we've probably already seen where we need to go. Um, so we will go back to the Toxic Cave. Which I think I went the wrong way. I was thinking of somewhere else, but it's cool. We will get there. I guess you can go this way too. It's not, it's not a big deal. So uh, one of so we'll go down to the cave area where the gases are, and there'll be one of these. Um, you see these circles right here on the map? It'll be one of these. I can't remember exactly which one. I'm thinking it's gonna be that one right above my head, but I, honestly, I just don't remember which one it is. So we'll find out. Definitely want to get some health and a cap. So there's this, there's this one right over here, right here, 
And I'm thinking this is it. I just don't remember which one goes to where. Because they almost all look identical. And I always get confused on them, so... I think this is it. I think up here is a... Is a star. Well, this is one of the stars. For sure. So I'm not really sure if this is the one that we want, or if there's a different one. Um, either way, we'll we'll go ahead and get the star. If it's not the right one, it's not a big deal. We'll just, uh, well, you'll see what it does. You just go, what? What just happened? So, as I was saying, I'm not sure if this is the actual star that it's saying that we're supposed to be getting because you can obviously get any of the stars in any of the um, order that you want to so I can't remember if this is uh, navigating the mazy, hazy maze cave or or what so anyways pressing firmly on the A button right now <laughs> holding it as tight as I possibly can let's not let go of the of the controller this time Hmm. So close. Cool. Well, that was double the time, but hey, it's all good. So was that in it? Oh, it wasn't. Amazing emergency exit. So we got we got a little bit out of order, but it's not a big deal. And you'll see what it does. It just shows you that you missed one. So navigating the toxic maze is the other star that's in that same area, and I'll show you what I mean. So let's head back over to the... Let's, let's go this way. Let's go back over to the, uh, the gassy cave. And there is another little cubby hole that you can um, jump up into and get another star. And as, as a matter of fact, that star... We've already seen it. It's kind of behind a little see-through barrier um, in the beginning part of the of the uh, stage. So I'll show you what I'm talking about here in just a second. So we'll grab this. Let's take a run. Let's see, I remember it's over near. It's right here. I always remember it's like in the area where the terrain gets really bad and like starts sliding around everywhere. So, let's ride this elevator to the top, and then there should be a star right up there. And that'll make for a super easy star. There it is. Yep, that door right over there in the background is what I was talking about. It's like one of the first doors you can go into. As a matter of fact, it's the door that you go into when you're trying to go down to the, to the, to the lake where the dinosaur's at. Okay, you've recovered 50 power stars. Now you can open the star door on the third floor. Bowser's there, you know. Oh, and you found all of the cap switches, haven't you? Red, green, and blue. The caps you get from the colored blocks are really helpful. Hurry along now. The third floor is just ahead. That's great news, guys. So, watch for falling rocks. Okay, so this is one that I was kind of like itching really bad to get. <laughs> in the very beginning because it's a super easy star to get and I'll show you where it's at it's kinda hidden and as a matter of fact I don't even remember how I found it to be honest um, you know back when I very first played this and then you know when it first came out I honestly couldn't tell you how I found this thing it's actually wall jump right here boom 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 there it is I think there's nothing over here. Yeah, no. There it is. Was that like 30 seconds? 30 seconds star. Okay, guys. Well, that'll do it for this episode. I really appreciate you guys playing along with me and having some patience, man. As I went through that cave, wow, that was such a, a, a tough level. I, and, and honestly, I don't, I don't know why it was so tough. It was just one of those days. But we got through it. We had a lot of fun playing. And I really appreciate you guys watching and playing along with me. Until next episode, guys, we'll see you next time.